Hi, Moens Peterson here. This video is recorded in February 2015. We're going to talk about Obamacare and the impact on business owners. Probably six, seven minutes. I guarantee it will be worth your time. Let me give you a little background about myself. I grew up in Denmark, lived 24 years in Copenhagen area, came to America in 81, started Peterson Financial Services in 82, and became a registered certified financial in 1987 totally independent for 33 years now. We have a nice uh, supporting staff for any investment related stuff that's out of Anaheim Hills and anything that deals with insurance or HR compliance we have uh, offices in two different states. The local one is here in Rancho Cucamonga with about 15 employees. But anytime you need any kind of help uh, we can certainly provide that. <coughs> Let's talk about Obamacare, much more important. Alright, um, start out here. Taxes. There are some nasty taxes associated with the, the Obamacare and, and most recent legislation. So let's talk about it. Federal tax went up 13%. Medicare tax went up 31%. Employees, they would pay half of Medicare tax. Their tax went up 62%. Long-term capital gain tax went up 59%. Dividend went up 164%. That's, of course, the other tax bracket. Collectibles went to 86%. Uh, increase, payroll tax went up 40%, medical device is a new tax of 2.3%, and of course Social Security right now is the same as it was before 12.4%, the employee pays half. Let's give you a couple of examples, a million dollars of long-term capital gain is another 88,000 in taxes. If a business owner have 250,000, they'll pay another 14,000 in taxes, and dividend income of 100,000 is another 24,000 in taxes. There are about 500 new provisions in Obamacare, and about eight of them deal with the, the key issues here. Let's talk about some of the, the rules and penalties. If you're an individual and you make less than 16000 a year, you get Medicaid, which is called Medi-Cal in California. Sixteen to 46000 you get subsidies from the government. If you make more than 46000 this is your just a gross income. This is for one person now. Then you get nothing. You pay everything yourself. If you're a business and you have less than 50 employees, you do not have to provide insurance. Probably should anyway, but you don't have to. If you have between 50 and 99, you either pay into the insurance or, or you, 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 you pay a penalty or you, you play, pay a play. That's, that's the words we use. There's some pretty nasty penalties starting this year if you have more than 100 employees. <clears throat> Uh, the employee, the penalty for 50 to 99 starts next year. All right, what are the penalties? Well, it's either almost 2100 or a little over 3100, or it depends. Can't get into the details now, but these are nasty penalties per employee per year. How, how would you get a penalty? Well, if you don't provide insurance, you get a penalty. What if you provide insurance and the participation rate is less than 95% as of next year? Well, you get a penalty then. If you provide less than 60% benefits, well, you're out of compliance. Get a penalty. If the employee uh, pays more than 9.5% for the insurance, then you're out of compliance. They can't pay more than that. And if the employer pays less than 50% for themselves, they are out of compliance. They are, the rules are pretty nasty. Let's uh, take a business here. <coughs> We have 30 full-time employees, which is 30 hours a week. We have 50 part-time employees. Now keep in mind, the law talks about equivalent employees. So 50 full-time or part-time employees are equivalent to 25 full-time employees. It's, it's not that simple, but <coughs> I'm just trying to simplify here. That makes it a total of 55 full-time equivalent employees. Now, you only have 30 full-time, so because you have the part-time, you are eligible under Obamacare and you must provide benefits. Average cost roughly 600 bucks. If you pay half, that's 9,000 a month. There you go, 108,000 a year, minus some tax deductions. You're probably gonna cost you 80 and $90,000 a year. And most business owners are probably not even aware of that. That's, that's some of our advice. Uh, everybody can be a salesperson, but who can be a good advisor? and we like to think we are very good advisors. Let's talk to your payroll department. Let's find out who qualifies for subsidies. Because if the government are paying for your employees, <coughs> there's no reason why you're paying too. Is it possible we could save you 108,000 a year in this case? 
unlikely, but we can probably save a lot of money. Let's reward the key employees to protect your profit. What about our 10 to 1 concepts? We, it's probably even closer to 100 to 1. Those are concepts that the employee feel have a $10 value and only cost you a dollar. <clears throat> Maybe a $100 value, but it only cost you a dollar. That's where the advice comes in. One of those concepts, something called healthiest you, that is uh, <clears throat> a doctor you can call 24-7. So instead of the employee calling off sick the whole day, eight hours gone, how about 10 minutes on the phone and go and pick up your prescription? Very, very powerful. <coughs> Group life insurance is very inexpensive, accidental death, or accidental and injury insurance and dental, very important. HR Wow, we provide that for our clients. That means you can look at your federal and state law, you can have an employee handbook, you can be a, a compliant, you can get legal advice. All of that is offered to our clients at no cost. Reward key employees. That means you should protect your profit. That's why you're in business in the first place. <coughs> give you a quick example. If I were your key employee and I generated 300000 and you paid me 125000 I am underpaid to the tune of $175,000. How are you going to protect your profit? I may go to your competitor and you will lose my services. We have some very good ideas on how you can solve that problem with, in a tax-free environment. That will be another video, not on this video. We have. <clears throat> the 10 to 1 concept, let's look at it. Group life, average of $4 per employee, divide that by 170 hours a month. You're now paying 2 cents per hour. Nothing, 2 cents. Dental, 12 bucks, 6 cents an hour. And the health is you plan is 9 bucks right now. It comes to 5 cents per hour. All of it is tax deductible. It's peanuts. It's an enormous value you can add. Summary, Obamacare is more tax. It certainly is less care. Good advice is crucial. Good advice is critical. And our advice is free. Take advantage of our free in-office consultation. You should also ask for our 10-minute video on unique tax strategies for business owners. How to avoid 99% on long-term capital gains tax how to live in a tax-free environment, in a zero tax bracket. A lot of very good ideas. So let us know if we can be of service. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.